The following demonstration will show how the IBM Business Process Accelerator enhances an existing loan application process through a dynamic, integrated user interface. Combining the power of WebSphere Portal and Lotus Forms with a process engine, this offering helps organizations across all industries to speed up their process automation efforts and extend forms-based business processes to customers and employees through the Internet. Lotus Forms enhance forms-based business processes for the following reasons. Lotus Forms are document-centric, meaning they include presentation, data, calculations and attachments. When signed, the form becomes an enforceable transaction and can be archived complete. Forms act as intelligent message objects, which can enforce their own business and data quality rules and are consumable by both humans and applications. Lotus Forms are reusable UI assets that can be leveraged throughout the enterprise and future revisions of the process. Forms are built on open standards that ensure ease of integration and interoperability. WebSphere Portal is an industry-leading composite application platform. Portal aggregates both tool and process-based application components on the glass. Interportlet communication facilitates the sharing of data between application components. Portal also presents work in context to enhance decision-making and improve efficiency. Portal provides configurable portal themes that allow corporations to reinforce their brand across their portal applications. Portal development can also yield reusable functional assets or portlets that can be consumed in different application contexts. In this demo we will see how Data Bank benefits from the implementation of the IBM Business Process Accelerator. We will follow the steps a bank customer takes to easily apply for and receive approval on a bank loan from the comfort of his own home. This diagram illustrates the business process that Zeta Bank follows to approve an unsecured personal loan. After a loan application is received, it immediately goes through an automated pre-screen and data quality check. The application is then routed to the inbox of a loan officer, who screens the application for completeness and accuracy. If satisfied, the loan officer will then start the processing of the loan application. At this point, if the requested loan amount is less than $10,000, the application is fast-tracked to a loan manager for approval. If the loan amount is for more, the bank requires that the application be reviewed more diligently before it is sent for approval. This involves an automated credit check performed using a third-party service, followed by a manual verification of employment by the loan officer. The loan officer then uses the results of the background checks to make a recommendation for approval. The loan application is then routed to a loan manager, who is now able to make an educated decision to approve or deny the loan. The applicant is then notified of the bank's decision, and if approved, given instructions on how to complete a loan contract. Our scenario begins with Albert Marino, a hotel front desk manager and Zeta Bank customer. Albert has been invited at short notice to join some friends on a once-in-a-lifetime vacation. Unfortunately the cost of this holiday will exceed the limit of his line of credit, so he has decided to apply for an unsecured personal loan. Albert is able to quickly apply for a loan from home, as Zeta Bank provides access to his bank account and services via their website. Albert is logged into the Zeta Bank website that he visits often for online banking. The accounts overview page contains a summary of all his accounts and a message center to allow easy communication with Zeta Bank. Today Albert selects the products and services tab to allow him to begin his loan preparation process and then he selects the loan section to see which loan products Zeta Bank is offering. Albert finds personal loans and clicks apply now. He is presented with an easy-to-use, wizard-style form, which will guide him through the loan application. He reviews the preparation material and fills in some of the basic loan details. After Albert enters a loan amount and selects repayment details, he is shown his monthly payments and the total interest he will pay based on the bank's current lending rate. After seeing the payment amount, Albert decides to increase the repayment time and reduce his payment to an amount within his budget. Complex calculations such as these can be included directly within a Lotus form. He sets the remaining choices and then selects the next button to move to the next step in the application. Steps 1 and 2 of the loan application have been laid out to capture pertinent pieces of Albert's personal information. Albert is pleased to see that much of his personal information which was already known by Zeta Bank, has already been pre-populated in the form. 
because the software is based on open standards, data can be easily shared between applications, making it easier for the bank and their customers to conduct their business. Albert continues providing his personal information on the second page. Further down on the page, he forgets to include the area code in his work phone number and is instructed to use a particular format for entering phone numbers. Selecting yes to a question regarding the need for a cosigner causes a new form section to become available. Step 3 of the loan application is where Albert needs to provide his employment and income details. Albert fills out his current and previous employment info and then attaches scanned images of his last pay stub and tax receipt. Step 4 of the application requires Albert to provide his current asset and credit information. He sees that his Zeta Bank accounts have already been added to the dynamic tables, and he adds another entry for a savings account he has with another financial institution. In the last step of the loan application, Albert reviews the loan application agreement and indicates that the information he has provided is accurate. Next, he clicks a button which brings up the Lotus Form's digital signature capabilities, allowing him to enter his customer ID and password to confirm that all information held in the form is accurate. Once Albert signs off on the form, it cannot be tampered with since the information he entered cannot be changed without detection. Albert completes the loan application by clicking the Submit Application button. A confirmation page indicates to Albert that his application has been received and provides him with a processing time frame and a tracking number should he have questions about his application status.